Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the worldwide leader in regenerative therapies. Today I wanted to talk about the distinction between stem cells versus exosomes. So let me start off by explaining what each one is. A stem cell is an actual cell. Okay, it has a nucleus, it can replicate through mitosis. In fact, that's one of the two main uh, traits of a stem cell is that it can replicate. And the other trait of a stem cell is that it can differentiate and become a specialty cell, a chondrocyte, a cartilage cell, or a, you know, a kidney cell, a renal cell. When you talk about an exosome, those are not cells at all. Okay, they are made by cells, but they don't have a nucleus. They do not have the capability to replicate. So that's the first main difference, is that a stem cell is an actual cell, and an exosome is not a cell at all. It's made by cells. So exosomes can be seen made from all types of cells. They can be seen in breast milk, uh, urine, lung fluid, all types of fluids. But the ones that we care about in regenerative medicine are made by stem cells. Whether it's a bone marrow derived stem cell, an adipose derived stem cell, or what we use a lot at our centers, umbilical cord derived stem cell. The way that I think of an exosome is as a soap bubble. So within a cell, you can have a little bubble that's formed. It's surrounded by fat and in it, are components such as growth factors, cytokines, mRNA, maybe some DNA, and other types of proteins that are within the soap bubble. So here's the, the cell and here's the exosome. Eventually those, the cell will extravasate the soap bubble and it will be released from the cell and into maybe the bloodstream or the surrounding area. And that exosome will move around, float around or whatnot, and it will be attracted to cells that are in need. And then it can help release the payload, which is, like I said, cytokines, growth factors, mRNA, other proteins, and help to facilitate repair and regeneration. When we do regenerative therapies around the world, we typically will include a separate tissue biologic of exosomes along with the stem cells to work together in combination to enhance the ability to facilitate repair and regeneration. So one thing to notice, what's the difference between the two? Well, my kids come in my office sometimes and they don't really care about seeing me, they want to play Xbox, you know, so I've got one of the controllers here. And then I just found a rubber band. So. Let's pretend that this is an exosome and this is a stem cell. The difference in size is 100x. So exosomes are 100 times smaller than a stem cell. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So what does that mean? One thing that it means is that exosomes are very, very, very small, 30 nanometers to 150 nanometers. Whereas stem cells, you know, multiply that by 100 and that's how large they are. But there are a lot more exosomes in one vial than there are stem cells. So here's an example. If a patient of ours goes to our Mexico clinic, say Cancun, and there's a vial of stem cells that are going to be administered, that's 25 to 30 million stem cells in the vial. But in one vial of exosomes, there's anywhere from 10 billion up to 50 billion, depending on how much the lab has concentrated it in that one vial. So it's a very, very big difference. So if you get a quotation from a stem cell clinic and they're offering you, you know, 100 billion stem cells, that is inaccurate. They've tried to confuse the situation by calling the an exosome stem cells and you think you're getting 100 billion stem cells. And I don't want you to be confused by quotations because we've got a lot of patients who have sent us their quotations and we were like, oh yeah, I, we understand now. That is the difference really, is that exosomes are much smaller, they're much more numerical, 
And when we give treatments of say, uh, anybody who comes to our Mexico clinics and they get 50 million stem cells, for instance, we give them for free a vial of exosomes, which has anywhere from 20 to 50 billion. Visit us on the web at r3stemcell.com. Lots of educational information on there. There's a nice link to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of videos and testimonials from success stories around the world. If you want to see if you're a candidate or a loved one for, for treatment, just give us a call at the plus one for the United States, 844-GET-STEM, and we can get you in for a free consultation anywhere in the world. We, we're in six countries now. All right, looking forward to hear from you. Thanks for watching.